In this week's 5 Minute Friday, I'm going to show you how to rig an overhead camera the right and safe way. So we won't be using this. So we're going to need a couple of things for my build. Uh, I'm going to need a crescent wrench. I'm going to use baby grid clamps. Uh, you can use this kind of thing or you can use like a super mafer clamp or you can use a cardellini, anything like that that's going to help you rig. And then I'm going to need two C stands. I'm going to need an inch and a quarter piece of aluminum pipe. I'm going to need some extra rigging accessories like this piece here which is a U-bolt to a quarter 20 tap and this I'm going to use as a safety. We'll move over to another location I'll show you how to put this all together. But the first thing I really want to do is strip down my camera. Since this is a Blackmagic micro cinema camera I do need a monitor so I can see the picture from the ground and I can have the monitor there and I can kind of look at it and then I can go up and readjust my camera. I'm going to need a battery, pull this bad boy out of its cage. Things free? I suggest having a camera cage. This one has its own little camera cage. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to take our baby grid clamps or maybe your maffer or maybe your cartellini and I'm going to just pop them into my C-stand. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Next thing I'm going to do is I want my camera to be absolutely safe. So I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to get me two sandbags. And I'm going to use these sandbags to weigh down my C-stand. Bag goes over the big leg. Big leg goes this way. So next, I'm ready to put my pipe in. I will tighten down my clamps. This is just a clamp that allows you to attach a, a pipe or a, a boom arm or anything like that so you can arm out lights. So now that we've got everything tightened down, we got sandbags on it, it's fairly safe. We're ready to tighten down our camera. So now we gotta find what's best for us to tighten our camera down to. Uh, what's the best point? Where are we pointing the camera? Are we gonna point it like that and then send it up? Or are we gonna point it straight down? I am pointing straight down. So what can we do? The battery's in the way. We gotta figure out a way to rig this straight down, but the battery's in the way. So what can we do? Do it on a side sling. Since we use these baby grid clamps, our pipe will not roll. Now I can just mount it to the top. There we are. That's a pretty perfect fit. I want to try and put a little safety onto this. Okay, we got everything rigged up. Pretty safe at this point. These are some pretty strong clamps. You can put a eye bolt in one of these screw holes. If you've got a really nice cage, like these small rig cages here, I would put an eye bolt in there, quarter 20 or 3 8 and I just rig it back to the pipe here. Uh, I do not currently have an eye bolt, so I think I'm just gonna run it through. The beauty about this rig is I can go as high as I want to. I can also use this rig up in the sky on my lighting grid. So if I wanted to attach a camera up there and shoot down on me, I can do that just as easily with this rig. Uh, so we're gonna put it up in the sky and then we'll hit some test footage and see what it looks like. This is much easier with two people. Step in. This is our nice little overhead camera rig. So if you don't have a lens that's like super wide or you're using a micro four thirds and you're not going to get a very wide lens, this is the way to do it so you can go higher on your C-stands 
and go as high as you need to to get the wider angle that you need. This is pretty narrow for me and that's about seven feet off the ground. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed our five minute Friday. Remember to hit that like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.